coming down here to the toolbox, um, same things that I think would be important for you. For me to zoom in, I usually press Alt or Option and I just scroll my mouse and zoom in. If I want to zoom in, um, I'm going to clear off those um, lines. I'll clear all guides so it will remove all that. So there are two types of selection tools. Either you have your normal selection that selects everything or your direct selection that selects particular lines. For example, here I come to the line tool and I draw a line. So um, this line only has two points. So if I, if I click on it, the shortcut for this is, is V. Always go back to V if you're stuck. But if I click on this, then it has created a specific, uh, right now it doesn't have so many tools, so many points. So let me just create some points here. So when I click it like this, it's one selection. When I click it A, that's this other selection, then I, I have access to these individual points that are within the path. How did I make these individual points, you ask? Um, here in the, you find a pen tool, and it has add an anchor point or delete an anchor point. And the shortcut is plus or minus. So if it's minus, I remove each point. I can remove each point like that. And there are many ways of drawing a line. You can either use that line tool or you can do a pen if it's going to be a joint line. Um, or you can draw a free pencil line. Those are three ways of drawing the line. And this is a magic wand, like in Photoshop, it pretty much would select many things if, if it was there, or a lasso tool, which pretty much selects whatever um, in a group kind of setting. If you know Photoshop or have some idea of it, that's what it does. This is a pen tool, but with, um, the fact that it does curves instead, um, it's pretty much the same pen tool, but it does curves. And down here, you have different kinds of shapes. You have a line, you have an arc, a spiral, rectangular, any kinds of shapes. Here you have a text tool. Um, I'm going to do a separate tutorial for the text tool to teach you these um, separate ways of making cool texts. And then here you have the shapes tool, a rectangular round edges ellipse whatever you want ellipse means also you can also do an, an ordinary circle you just press shift so here we have a rectangular shape and it has a red fill and a black outline which you can edit here you can edit the thickness and the uniform of it um, if you don't want a straight line and you want something wavy like you can't really see it now let me just do that you can see that it's kind of wavy like roundish so you can change the shape this would be good if you're doing something artistic and here you can give it a particular texture so there are all kinds of textures if it's not here just um, press the library button and they have so many kinds here that you can get opacity means it can be a different you can make it a bit transparent or not or whatever and um, you can give it styles that you want you can align it um, I think I'll touch on some of these as I continue making projects with you uh, something that's also important is this pencil tool if you double click here on the pencil tool you have options here so here I've made it extra smooth um, because if you draw this, it tries to smoothen it out for you. But if you like make it really smooth, then it makes drawing on top of, let's say, other drawings, and you want to just give it like a nice outline, then this makes it like really smooth. So you can see here, I've drawn something just haphazard, but it has come out really smooth. Something else that would be good for your drawings is a scale tool. Um, so if I select this and I do a scale, so if I want to scale it according to that, so I just, you know, I can just click on it and scale it. I can press shift to keep it a certain scale. And 
I can see what percentage I'm scaling it to. Or you can you make it a uniform. Um, so let's say I double its size and I make it 200, then it's twice its size. Another thing that would be nice for you is if you have many shapes going on and you want to choose a color or very already existing shape or color that you want, you can choose the eyedropper. So and it, the, the color will come here. If I click here, it becomes all white. Um, the shortcut for that is I. If you just click I, the eyedropper comes. Um, another thing is which would help you would be um, this at board tool. So I can draw the same size of paper I want, or if I'm working with, um, I only want to work with, let's say, A1s, usually what um, we work with, I can just click it and then come here and choose um, the size of paper that I want. So let's say, usually, it's a width of 841 millimeters and 594 millimeters. That's an a one so yeah so that's the size of an a1 and also another thing is it's i would always want a vantage point of zero for this point to be zero so make sure it's always at zero why this is important is that when you want to align things or when you want to move things specifically aligned, you always have a zero midpoint you can work towards. And so it has come to this place where this artboard is because the artboard was the original, so it was at zero. And so when you come to the align tool um, and you want to move objects, you can move them according to the zero point. Um, then down here you have your color scheme and um, if you want this to come to a, to you in a, you just press control zero and you have your full view. Something that would be important for you is learning how to um, sell, uh, erase or cut. So if you're going to do like let's say the erase tool and you want to erase part of this, you can just click that and just erase it. Um, it will only erase whatever is selected. If it's one object but only one part is selected, only that part will be um, erased. Another thing is the scissors tool. The scissors tool works according to points. So if I want to remove this part of the arc from the general arc, I click that. So this part is now alone. And then um, for, for, the, for the knife tool, that's if you have like a shape and you want to cut it up. If you want a straight line, you press shift and then slice. If you want a straight line, you press shift if you want a straight line, you click, press shift. And then if you want a curvy line, something random, I don't know, you can just click it like that. And so now they are separate according to. So this can be nice if you're making some interesting shapes or something like that.